Welcome back to Four Men Only. This is our last episode on bodily health, nutrition, and men's fitness. You can educate yourself with a great, uh, infinite number of resources on the internet, magazines, nutritional shops. Uh, we don't have time for that here, but we want to just briefly review and then give you a new little pointer here, what the Bible has to say. The Bible says you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You need to learn what that means. What is your body? What's it capable of? I think we know that drinking poison is not good for us. I think we know that drinking mercury is not good for us. I think we know that we can't jump off a 30-story building and live. We understand the parameters of this finite body we've been given, but you got to learn the other things. What's hurting you? That means you got to go to the doctor. Let the doctor tell you what's in your blood, what's your cholesterol, what's your blood pressure, what's your pulse like, what does he want you to do? Doctors are a gift from God to help us maintain our body. If it helps your faith, look at your doctor as the body mechanic. Your car mechanic is your car mechanic. Your doctor is your body mechanic, and he can diagnose you. He can listen to what's going on under the hood and tell you what you need to do. We also need to be able to bring into and regulate all your appetites. You need to be able to put a knife to your throat if you're given to appetite. Your Bible teaches us that exercise does profit your body for the time being, and that's a good thing. The New Testament uses a lot of Olympic allegories to talk about shadow boxing and running races and training. But the Bible says, he that is a master in the Olympics, this is one translation, he that is a master in the Olympics must be temperate or self-controlled in all things. So self-control is very critical to your body's health and to fitness and, and nutrition. But the last point I want to leave with you is this concept of routine. Your health, whether it's good or bad, is a total reflection of the routine of your life. And we all live according to a certain routine. And by the time you're 35, 40, 45, by the time you're 50, you are totally set into a routine. And that routine is either putting you in an early grave or it's prolonging your life. What many American men need is a, a total adjustment to the routine. And that routine needs to include exercise. It needs to include a better diet. It needs to include a regular medical checkup. Now, we do all this on top of speaking the word. But like one foolish preacher said, brother, I've got dominion. And he ate like a hog and he died like a hog of a heart attack at like 45. He foolishly believed he could just exercise dominion and faith and just violate every rule of law, every law of nutrition, every law of medicine. You can't do that. God doesn't honor foolishness. Get a healthy routine. Change your life so that you're eating healthier. Change your life so that you're getting regular exercise. The older you get, the more younger years of exercise will pay off. Uh, I'm in my early 40s now. I stand in between the young folks and the old folks. I'm watching people that I went to college with, who I still serve God with. They've not taken care of their bodies, and they could get away with it through their 30s. But now that they've hit their 40s, it's really starting to catch up with them. I, I plead with you, I jure with you, uh, get a healthy lifestyle. Use all the natural resources that are out there so you can prolong your life and see the great things God has in store for you. I call you blessed. Be a doer of God's word. Keep your appetites under. Live healthy. Exercise your body. And you'll live a long time. Bless you in Jesus' name.